stupid killer machines? Oh, what a night. It's getting warm. Wish I had time for a nap. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana. My sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... difficult. His soul is in shadow. His... soul is in shadow? Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. A ceasefire? The apostate started a war. I'll keep now they want us to sit power. on our hands? Are you Galeev, the healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tent city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis' kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. <sighs> You're kind of an ass, healer. There's no cure for a conscience. But in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, Perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. I already have the part. Wow, we could already have a deal. Quickly now, let's salve your poor conscience. See to the girl, and it's yours. Not before. Oh, please. On my oath, this girl will survive to see our sad future. You and I shouldn't be seen together. Go on to the slums ahead of me. I'll find you presently. You do stand out in a crowd. The sun seems to have been kind to you. Careful where you walk. 
Each step has been paid for in blood. We fought for Meridian, and yet we live in shadow. It's you! Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No, wait. I don't even want to ask, in case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention, won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. We won't last another season if we don't find more food. I meet my uncle every day just to reminisce about Meridia. But yesterday, he never showed. Thank you, again, for giving her a better chance. What she called? Shiana. I knew a Shiana once. She sang in a tavern. Here comes another How is your sister's singing voice? Uh, she likes ball games. She wants to be a soldier. That's a shame. That's enough excitement for my rest day. Please don't start growing fond of me. Very much doubt it. What she called? Shiana. I knew a Shiana once. She sang in a tavern. How is your sister?